Welcome to the Dreaming Cave. Here, we can open paths to other realms. This particular path is blocked by Daedric magic. I have an idea, though. Take the Dawnstar gem from your pack and hold it up to the barrier. Just as I surmised, the barrier, it withdraws from the Dawnstar's power. Dawnbreaker's gem contains a portion of Meridia's power, but on its own it isn't strong enough to dispel this barrier. We need to find the Dawnbreaker's sword and make it whole once more. We know that at least one Daedric Prince has attempted to help us against the triad of Vile, Mafala, and Nocturnal. I think it's time to approach Meridia and solicit her help in this endeavor. We need to locate a true believer, one of Meridia's cultists. If anyone can direct us toward Daedric activity on Somerset, it's Lathan. Talk to Lathan. See if you can convince him to help us find one of Meridia's priests. As we've seen, the triad of Daedric princes was able to interfere with the Golden Knight's efforts to reach us. If I attempt to use the Dreaming Cave to contact Meridia, chances are they'll notice and stop us. We can't risk tipping our hand just yet. The barrier doesn't block every possible path, only the one that I saw in my scribe memory, the path that leads to where I hid the heart of transparent law. As Katora's magic continues to fade, I believe my memories will return in time. I don't think so. Each member of the Cabal possesses a unique talent. Katora dealt in mind magic. When you killed him, that magic was lost to the Cabal. No. Now we must concern ourselves with the Triad of Daedric Princes. Just as you were attuned so you could travel to and from Arteum, we use the same magic to prevent Lathan from leaving the island. He is free to wander where he will, but he can't leave. I believe he's outside, talking to Valserin. Lathan was a good man. I have to believe he still is, despite pledging his allegiance to Mafala and the Court of Bedlam. Besides, we need to contact Meridia. He's our best chance for getting in touch with one of her priests. I never planned to come back here. The memories are... painful. I still can't believe I had to find you and drag you back. Was our time together really so terrible? You still don't understand. Our daughter will never again see this view. Or hold my hand. Or... Or... Anything. I suppose it's too much for a prisoner to expect a few moments of solitude with his thoughts. Ah, well. So, what can I do for you? Has the right master sent you to interrogate me? Doesn't he trust my wife's talents in that regard? What a curious question. Do you actually believe that all Daedric cultists know each other? I hate to disappoint you, we don't. Although I can tell you that there are a lot fewer of the Lady of Life's followers now than there were before. The Court of Bedlam has been actively eliminating the competition, as it were. Oh, I wasn't personally involved. 
But I have it on good authority that the Meridia Shrine, hidden to the north of Shimmerine, has been disposed of. Or, who can say? I imagine that one or two of them scurried down a dark hole before the blade fell. Like rats her followers are. I believe I have said everything I'm going to on this subject. Now shove off. That sounds like a wild Nixad chase. Didn't Razumdar mention he was investigating Daedric cults on Somerset? Maybe you, Razumdar, has been investigating Daedric activity across Somerset. He's your best chance for finding a follower of Meridia, despite what Lathan has intimated. When last we checked, the Eye of the Queen was in Shimmerin, conducting his own investigation into the Court of Bedlam and other Daedric activity. If anyone in Somerset can point you to a priest of Meridia, it's Razumdar. If the Queen's Eye wants to chase his own tail by following Skeever's scribblings, fine by me. Anything to keep him out of our business. Step away from that scribble, newcomer. Take a breath, Bailiff. It's just a scribble, not one of Razumdar's conspiracies. Only one of the lesser races would deface a beautiful wall like that. I mean no disrespect, but my statement rings true. Razum Dar claims the scribble contains a message of some sort, but I just don't see it. Hmm. The cat mentioned he was working with a newcomer. But if you ask me about Daedra, I'll toss you down a pit. As I told Razum Dar, Somerset banished Daedric cult centuries ago. Our biggest problem right now concerns these wall scribblers. Do I look like a Khajiit keeper to you? He said something about the scribbles. I'm just glad Razum Dar is far away and not bothering me. You, on the other hand, are way too close. Move along, or face the wrath of the Divine Prosecution.
Raz doesn't care who you worship. He just wants to know if your cult was attacked recently. Periite would welcome you. Our prince accepts all kinds, and you'd be our first Khajiit. You'd be our first anything, actually. Five Claw, you have the happy ability to know where to find Raz when Raz has need of you. <sighs> Getting information out of these Periite idiots is like squeezing milk from a stone. This is why Raz hates dealing with Daedric cults. Interesting question. Raz has learned that the court of Bedlam has been attacking the cults of other princes, including those devoted to Meridia and Azura. Now, usually if crazy cultists kill each other, it's good for Somerset. But this feels wrong. You do? Well, Raz trusts you. So I can tell you about an old friend who attends Meridia ceremonies in the Eton near Grotto. Raz doesn't approve, but it's her life, yes? This one will make contact and meet you outside Eton near. Raz was planning to head up north to Eton near after talking to these Periite imbeciles anyway, to check on his old friend. The court of Bedlam's attacks on the other cults were particularly vicious, and this one worries so. War. That would explain the attacks. Raz isn't an expert on Daedric cults, but this doesn't sound like their usual behavior. This one thought they just sort of left each other alone. That's a terrible thing to say. No, Raz refuses to believe it. Raz's friend is a survivor. She's got to be all right. This one will go and make contact. Make sure she's fine. Then we'll meet you outside Eton Near. Raz hears things. He heard about the attacks on the rival cults. He heard that the court consists of followers of three different princes. And he heard that even though the High Elves constitute the majority of the court's members, there is one Dark Elf. A single Dark Elf among a group of High Elves? Seems significant to Raz. Besides, everyone seems to fear her, but this one could not dig up any details. We should keep an eye out for this Dark Elf, yes?
Over here, Fightclaw. This is Raz's old friend, Sadarado. She follows Meridia, but do not hold that against her. May Meridia's light shine upon you. Raz told me you need to contact my prince. With the recent attacks, however, I need to ask you what your interest in Meridia happens to be. Meridia's sword of light? I'm not sure I understand. Even if I wanted to help you, my efforts would probably be in vain. My prince doesn't speak to just any mortal. The leader of our sect had Meridia's ear, but... He was caught in a recent attack. Your need must be great to come ask for such a favor. The path to Meridia Shrine won't be easy to navigate, however. Mephala and Nocturnal's followers massacred my brothers and sisters. They left fire Daedra behind to defile our sanctum. Enter the grotto and look for our camp. Meridia's shrine looms over the area. Raz will accompany me and will enter via a side tunnel. I don't want you to have to worry about me while you're defending yourself against those creatures. Raz thinks this is a bad idea, Sadara. I want to help, Raz. Maybe this is the reason Meridia allowed me to escape when the rest of my sect was attacked. I knew I shouldn't have let her go in. Idiot.
This way. We're almost there. Rise is not fond of Daedric cultists, but no one deserves to die like this. The court of Bedlam are cowards. They struck us down without warning. I will try my best to get your friend an audience with the Lady of Light. The shrine is just inside. Master, what did those bastards do to you? Look what they did to his body. They defiled Meridia's shrine. That light, that is not natural, yes. Meridia, she calls to us. My devoted priest, a loyal soldier, and an intrepid instigator. Step closer and bask in Meridia's light. Why is this statue talking to Raz? My followers murdered. My shrine desecrated. The other princes, this so-called triad, they must answer for these insults. But I sense a question in your mind. Speak, mortal. Ask what you will of the Prince of Light. They dare to steal my vessel? To hold prisoner the agent I put in place to foil their despicable plans? My light shall not be snuffed out. My colored rooms will not be compromised. You must set Darien Gautier free. My vessel thinks of itself as Darien Gautier, a simple Breton warrior. But in reality, it is my will and my power. When a darkness enters your reality, I send Darien to banish it. You must enter Mafala's realm and rescue Darien, the Golden Knight. Only my vessel can repair the Dawnbreaker. Use the Dawnstar gem to locate Darien within the spiral skein. Now return to the Right Master and tell him what I said. Wait, the Triad dares to invade my sacred realm? Such an affront cannot stand. Meridia, my prince! She's gone. I can't feel her presence any longer. Raz is certain that the nice statue will be fine. In the meantime, let this one take you someplace where you will be safe. Raz has seen many things. Were sharks, flying tigers, were sharks on top of flying tigers, but a talking light? Oh, Queen Irene will never believe it. How much trouble are we in, Five Claw? Be honest with old Raz. Too much honesty is never a good thing. How do we battle Daedric princes? Raz supposes an army would help. An army always helps. Alas. Raz rarely has an army to call upon when he needs one the most. And that involves traveling to places Raz never knew existed before all this started. No. Raz will see Sadara to safety and then do what he can to protect Somerset and the Crystal Tower. The Daedra fighting, Raz will leave to you, yes?
I see signs of the court's work throughout Somerset, but nothing of the court itself. I think the court of Bedlam has fewer members than we imagined. Enough of this for now. Let's see what our friend has learned. You return, but without the Dawnbreaker. Weren't you able to make contact with Meridia? Forgive my impatience. This inability to remember has me on edge. Go on. Tell me what you learned. The Court of Bedlam is eliminating the cults of the other princes? To what end? You said you were able to make contact with Meridia. Then why didn't she give you a restored Dawnbreaker? I suspected that might be the case. I'll send Valsarin with you into Mafala's realm to rescue the Golden Knight. A disturbing development, to be sure. But we'll have to hope Meridia can protect herself. I'll open a portal to Mafala's spiral skein when you're ready. Then you can use the gem to find the Golden Knight. Mafala's realm can be daunting. But I'll be with you the entire time. Remember to stay focused on your destination at all times. Otherwise you could get lost in myriad pathways of the Dreaming Cave. And whatever you do, don't lose that gem. stalking me in here. Oh no! Yeah! <laughs> 
couldn't breathe. As usual, you found me just in the nick of time. The beast that captured me... I've never seen anything like it. A little lightheaded, but I'll be fine. Now that we're together, we can focus on finding the Golden Knight. And if that beast shows its mandibles again, I'll be ready. Something with the body of a giant spider, and... well, I'm not sure how to describe it. But it was a creature right out of my nightmares. Just what you'd expect in the realm of a Daedric Prince. No matter, let's go find the Golden Knight. Revealed by the Dawnstar Gem? What I wouldn't give to be able to use portal magic in here. <sighs> that wasn't a pleasant experience. Light in the distance. It's brighter, out of place in this dismal setting. That must be the golden night.
Mafara won't leave something as valuable as Meridia's Golden Knight unprotected. Long enough. I expected this rescue hours ago. Your gratitude has a hollow ring, Knight. Oh, I can be very grateful, my lady. Maybe we should just leave him. I'm sure the Ripe Master would understand. Well, this is awkward. Here I am, Meridius Champion, covered in webs and held at the mercy of unsettling spider people. Thanks for rescuing me, though. I would have freed myself at some point. I was just, uh, working up to it, that's all. Guilty as charged. Meridia sent me to offer my assistance, but those other princes, they kept interfering. And then I was dragged into this pit of spider harlots. Look, we can catch up on things later. Right now, we need to get out of here. There's one small problem. Getting out of a Daedric realm isn't just a matter of walking through a door. Believe me, I've tried. Hey. How did you get here, by the way? Mafala specifically said she was putting me someplace where no one would find me. The Dawnstar Gem. That makes sense. Between that and the Sigic Sages, I can see how you wound up here. And with the gem, I can repair Dawnbreaker. But just so you know, I feel awful. I'm in no condition to fight at the moment. Let's get out of here. Meet me outside. I can open a portal to the Dreaming Cave, but the ritual will take time, and will more than likely draw Mafala's Daedra. You need to hold them off until I can find a way back home. I won't be able to assist you while I'm casting, and the Golden Knight doesn't appear to be in any condition to fight. I'm afraid you're on your own, my friend. Let my voice penetrate the barriers between here and the Dreaming Cave!
moments longer. Valserin, take the knight to the healers. We'll deal with the sword later. In the meantime, I need to speak with our friend. You and Valserin entered Mafala's realm and rescued Meridia's golden knight. I couldn't ask for more, my friend. I assume Darian believes he can repair the Dawnbreaker. I hope that would be the case. The golden knight will need to recover some of his strength first, though. Who knows what tortures Mafala and her creatures inflicted upon him? That's not a fate I'd wish on my worst enemy. Who can say what drives such beings as these? To work with the Sea Slode. To pit their followers against the cultists of other princes. To launch attacks into rival oblivion realms. Uh, such actions boggle the mind. Knight Darian needs to recover his strength first and restore the Dawnbreaker. Then we can attempt to unblock the path and see where I took the heart of transparent law. For now, take this with my thanks. While the Golden Knight recovers, we must make preparations for breaching the Daedric Barrier. Since I can't remember where that particular pathway goes, we'll have to be ready for any contingency. I also need to tell you about another memory. My memories return slowly, a little at a time. While you searched for the night, a memory came back to me. A woman's voice, barely a whisper, beautiful but speaking in a language I can't understand, repeating the same words over and over. I suspect that the language is ancient. It may actually predate the languages of Tamriel. I feel that the memory is connected to the barrier in the Dreaming Cave, and where I hid the heart. My friend, we need to discover the meaning of these words. I hoped you'd say that. I sent Oriandra to my study to review my memory and see if she could translate the ancient words. I even suggested a scholar she could contact, an expert in ancient languages and obscure dialects. Go, check on her progress. No. I just feel that the words contain the key to where I hid the heart of transparent law. I do know the language. Forte, 
the Grand Maestro of the House of Reveries. We've shared research in the past, and he thinks the language could be related to tablets he once studied in Ebenstadmont. Now go and see if Oriandra has made any progress by reviewing my memory. <laughs> 